After watching the video on the iterative division algorithm, we're going to see how you can use this method to convert from decimal to any number base. So to start, let's convert decimal 93 to octal, which is base 8. Okay, so um, let's say that we want to convert 93 in decimal to base 8, which is the octal number system. So following the iterative division algorithm, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a equal to 93 and then we're going to set b equal to 8 and the reason we set b equal to 8 is because um, we want to convert to base 8 okay great then we start the iterative division algorithm we're going to take 93 and divide by 8. Uh, this result is 11.625. So then we set Q equal to the integer part of 11.625. So that's just 11. And then we set R equal to A minus BQ. Um, our A is 93 minus 8 times 11. So that's 93 minus 88, or a remainder of 5. And then we have to ask ourselves, is Q equal to 0? Our Q right now is 11, so the answer is no. So now what we want to do, the next step of our iteration, is we're going to set A equal to Q, which is 11, and then we're going to repeat. So now that a is 11, we're going to take 11 and divide by B, which is still 8. So 11 divided by 8 is 1.375. So we set Q equal to the integer part of 1.375, that's just equal to 1, and then we set the remainder to A minus BQ, which is 11 minus 8 times 1, or 11 minus 8, which is 3. Great, and now we ask ourselves again, is Q equal to 0? Q right now is 1, so the answer is no. So again, we're going to set A equal to Q, which is 1, and we're going to repeat. So we're going to repeat this iterative process until Q is equal to 0. So our next step is we take that 1 and we divide that by 8 and that's going to give us 0 0.125. So we set Q equal to the integer part of 0 0.125 and that gives us 0. We'll set R to A minus BQ which is 1 minus 8 times 0 or 1 minus 0, which is 1. And now, is Q equal to 0? And the answer is yes. So that means we stop iterating. Okay, but now, to get the result of the conversion, to get the result of the conversion, what we want to do is we want to collect all the remainders from bottom to top. Okay, so from bottom to top, we have this, then we have three, then we have five. So our remainders are 1, 3, and 5. Therefore, 93 in decimal 
is 135 in octal, um, or in subscript base notation, we would say 93 base 10 is equal to 135 base 8.